Ladies and gentlemen, today we'll come to a vivid tapestry of tradition. Unity and joy that defines one of the most cherished celebrations in Brunei, Hari Raya, Idil Fitri. This festival marks not just the culmination of Ramadan, the holy month of fasting and reflection, but also embodies the spirit of communal harmony and shared happiness. Among the illustrious participants in these festivities are none other than Prince Matin and his wife, Anisha, whose actions and engagements during this period exemplify the true essence of this celebration. From their heartfelt charity work to their public appearances, their involvement highlights the unique blend of royal tradition and modern influence. And if you find this exploration enriching, don't forget to subscribe to the Billionaire Dynasty channel for more insightful stories and exclusive content. Together, let's continue to discover the incredible richness of cultures from around the world. Ramadan Ceremony at Arab Saudi On April 5th, Brunei's very own Prince Abdul Matin, 32 years young, and his lovely wife Anisha Rosner, 29, took to Instagram to share their spiritual journey during the holy month of Ramadan. They posted captivating photos from the sacred cities of Mecca and Medina in Saudi Arabia, where they completed their Umrah pilgrimage. Now, imagine this. Their Instagram lit up like a Christmas tree, raking in a million likes in just two days. One of their photos really stood out. It was a breathtaking aerial shot of Masjid al-Haram, also known as the Great Mosque of Mecca. The place was buzzing with pilgrims from around the globe, gathered in prayer and devotion. Um, talk about a sight to behold! Now, the royal couple, dressed in the traditional white Iham garments, looked absolutely serene and at peace. Men typically bear their right shoulder in this attire, and Prince Matin was no exception. They snapped a charming outdoor selfie and later were seen in more formal attire inside a beautifully designed prayer room. But that's not all. There were more snapshots showing Prince Matin breaking his fast on the ground with his cousin, Prince Baha Ibni Jeffrey Bolkia, enjoying iftar, the meal that marks the end of the day's fast. And let me tell you, they even had a stroll in a bustling Saudi shopping mall, surrounded by a slew of bodyguards looking joyous and truly content. During Ramadan, which is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, Brunei Week, a nation where a whopping 75 of the population is Muslim embraces this period with profound reverence. Well, the timing of Ramadan is determined each year by esteemed astronomers making it a sacred and dynamically celebrated time. The essence of Ramadan is about purification and spiritual growth. It's a time to show reverence to God, steer clear of earthly temptations and foster patience and compassion. This involves fasting from sunrise to sunset engaging in extended prayer sessions, reading the Qur'an, and performing acts of charity. It's a month that brings people closer, not just in Brunei, but across the Muslim world, encouraging them to live a life of discipline and giving, always reaching out to help those less fortunate. Last year, the royal family of Brunei embarked on a deeply significant journey to Mecca, marking a momentous occasion in their spiritual lives. Throughout their time in Mecca, the royal family participated in various rites of Umrah, which include performing Tawaf, which involves walking seven times around the Kaaba, and Sai, walking between the hills of Safa and Mawa. These rituals are a reenactment of the frantic search for water by Hagar, the wife of Abraham for her son Ishmael. The act of carrying out these rituals in the sacred city is a profound experience for all pilgrims, the photos and updates from their pilgrimage were shared through official channels and social media, allowing the people of Brunei in the world to partake in some way in this sacred journey. The family was seen dressed in the simple white garments of Iran, symbolizing purity and unity among all pilgrims, regardless of social status or wealth. Their journey was not only a personal act of faith, but also served as an inspiration to many in Brunei and beyond emphasizing the importance of spiritual growth and community in Islam. The royal family's participation in the Umrah pilgrimage beautifully illustrated their commitment to their religion and their role as leaders in the Muslim community. So, there you have it. 
the story of a royal couple immersing themselves in one of the most spiritually enriching experiences of their lives, shared with the world through the lens of their camera. What a wonderful blend of tradition, faith and modern technology. The Hari Raya Idilfitri Ceremony in the heart of Brunei, dear, the spirit of Hari Raya Adifitri fills the air with warmth and jubilation. This major festival follows the holy month of Ramadan, a period of fasting and reflection, and it is celebrated with immense joy and traditional festivities. It's a time when families reunite, visiting elders and enjoying meals together, creating moments of happiness and communal harmony. This year, a particularly heartwarming scene unfolded as His Royal Highness Sultan Haji Hassan of Bolkia, the Sultan of Brunei, demonstrated extraordinary generosity. In a grand gesture of kindness, 18,010 individuals, including those with special needs, orphans, the impoverished, and recipients of monthly welfare assistance, were honored with personal gifts from His Majesty in celebration of Hari Raya. Meanwhile, the beloved Anisha Rosner, known for her culinary passion and philanthropy, chose to celebrate in a unique way by volunteering at a community kitchen, dressed simply in a cooking apron, mask, and buffant cap. She was a picture of service and humility. Her genuine engagement with the community was highlighted when she took a break from cooking to play with a child, and even connected him with Prince Matten via video call, sparking joy and wonder. As for the royal couple, their participation in the Idul Fitter celebrations was marked with grace and elegance. Anisha, in a beautiful dress designed by T.A. Ferdes, attended a special gathering with the royal family. On another occasion, Anisha opted for a traditional navy dress, accessorized with a Dior bag, choosing not to wear a headscarf, which added a modern touch to her traditional attire. The royal palace, Istana Nuro Iman, opened its doors to government officials and the public on successive days. This open house is a cherished tradition where the royal family meets with the people of Brunei Yu, offering blessings and gifts of chocolate bars and for children, a lucky 5 BNT. This year's celebration included an event by Yaya San Sultan Haji Hassan Obolkia, which featured 750 students and volunteers from local institutions showcasing their dedication to community service. The Sultan and Her Majesty Julie Raja Isteri Penjiran and Akhaja Saleh were present, lending an air of formality. Anisha was particularly radiant in a traditional mint green dress adorned with gold floral patterns, complemented by a sophisticated bag from the Laropian brand. The Hari Raya Adil Fitri in Brunei is not just a celebration. It is a reflection of the nation's culture of kindness, generosity, and community spirit, beautifully interwoven with the joyous reunions of families and the gracious hospitality of the royal family. The significant impact that Prince Matin and his wife, Alicia, have on these celebrations, their engagement in charity work, and their presence in the community embody the values of kindness and generosity that are central to the festival. Today, we've seen how their commitment enriches the cultural fabric of Brunei Yu, fostering a deeper connection within the community and enhancing the festivities with their active participation. If you've been inspired by the stories of Matin and Anisha and wish to discover more about their intriguing lives and other captivating cultural narratives, subscribe to the Billionaire Dynasty channel. Join us to continue exploring exceptional stories from around the globe. Thank you for your attention, and may the spirit of Hari Raya inspire you as much as it inspires those who celebrate it. Don't forget to subscribe and join our community to explore further together.